Hey guys, it's me, Brian from Echo and USA, and I just got in my SLS Tactical Glock 17 holster. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to basically show you how, for the Lone Wolf, it is a snug fit. It won't go all the way in, so I'll have to do is cut a little here. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, I did say on my fan page I was going to order for the Black Hawk uh, Serpa holster, but it's out of stock and back ordered, and that's on its way. So this will do for now, and I'll do another video showing that one. Just real quick minor cutting before and after, and hopefully that will help and be super cool with the new Lone Wolf Timberwolf. Okay, real quick, the holster and the Timberwolf all the way in, it goes about there. If you look closely, all to do is cut a little because the rail is hitting. This is a Glock holster, this is a Timberwolf, has the rails on the bottom. So real quick, let me cut it and show you what I did. Just using a rough file, round it on one side, flat on the other side, and then a fine file to smooth it out. Okay, now after like maybe five minutes or so of filing, I used a curved rough file and then a somewhat fine flat one so I can get in there and a metal brush to clean it. I just sanded a little on the bottom to make room for the rails and a little on the top to make room for here. And now you can press in and lock it back and you can hear the click so it's good and secure. Um, what I'm going to do is also, it's very snug, it's good, I like that, I'm not going to have to worry about losing it. I'm going to show you guys in my upgrade video on what I'm going to do to the frame. I'm actually going to take these down a little because I don't need them as much. Just gonna round it and then I'll fit even better and drop it like that and you're good. So that'll be upcoming video and don't worry, the part shop does have extra lowers so in case you wanna do it and don't wanna worry about messing up, we got you covered. This has been Brian from Echo and USA. Have fun shooting.